Doing due diligence on a for sale by owner. Colton, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. Now, for those of you that may be new to the show or may have only watched a few of the shows, um, or maybe you're just like confused by the title, right? MLS Search Analysis Show, right? Typically what I do a lot of the time is people, they purchase a package, they go to holtonwise.com, they, they purchase a package from us, they click the property search for sale tab, they go to the show and they pick one of our packages. Right now, the most popular package is the 10 property package. And uh, the reason it's popular, A, it's cheap, right? I, I got it on sale and B, it allows us to work together long term, right? You know, you got me in your corner uh, going out there, analyzing deals, finding deals for you. And most of them come from the MLS, right? Because that's where the majority of these properties are going to be sold. And the way it works typically, folks, you guys give me all your criteria, how much money you have, how you, how you plan on acquiring it, what your risk tolerance is. And I take that all into account and I go out and I find these deals, right? Listed by other agents. And then I act as your broker. You know, I work on your behalf, not on the behalf of the other agents or the seller. Right? That's, that's what happens most of the time. But in addition to that, though, right, you guys have the ability to bring me deals. You could bring me anything, right? Because there's other avenues to find properties. And, and the goal with this show and the goal with what we're trying to do here on Holton Wise TV is for us to be your advocate in all situations when you're trying to invest in the Cleveland market. The majority of you guys, you don't live here. You guys are out of state, out of country. And when you're watching uh, real estate related content online or you're trying to invest, you know, a lot of you guys, like the, the biggest customer base we have probably comes from California, right? We got a lot of folks in California that are looking to other markets because California is just so goddamn expensive, right? Uh, but, you know, when you're investing in turnkey real estate and you're investing in new markets, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Uh, you know, if anybody hasn't heard of it yet, you know, in the show notes below, I'll put uh, some links to some of the content we produced on the Clayton Morris scam. Okay. Just a ton, a ton of content on that scam. So if you're out there and you're investing in real estate, you've never heard of Clayton Morris and Morris Invest and all the fraudulent activity uh, that's alleged to have taken place. Uh, some of the court cases have been resolved. Some have not. For instance, my court case with Clayton Morris, our $7.2 million lawsuit with Clayton Morris, that's been resolved. We whipped his ass on that one. But there's some other court cases that haven't been resolved. So I'll, I'll continue to say alleged uh, fraudulent activity, right? Uh, so all information on that, that's in the show notes below. But you know, stuff like that, that scares folks, right? They get scared. They don't want to go into bad neighborhoods, do bad properties, lose their asses. And, you know, it's very dangerous when you're investing in this real estate you don't know anything about, right? So that's, that's what this show's for. We're trying to help you help yourself. We're trying to keep you out of those uh, tough situations, right? So in addition to finding you properties that will match what you want to do, uh, I also provide due diligence on deals that you're trying to do with other people, right? I'm not involved in the sale. I do not get paid if you buy it, if you don't buy it. Uh, I am just here to be your advocate. One second, I saw something pop up on my, uh, my screen there. All right, let's get that back. Now, I'm your advocate, okay? Uh, so that's, that's what we have going on here right now with my client. His name is Colton. Colton has uh, done some, some videos with us in the past, and right now he brought me a new property. This is for sale by owner, not listed by an agent, right? He has been negotiating uh, with the seller, unlisted property, not on the MLS, right? And the address, 3317 Cedar Brook, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. And Colton shot this to me. He shot me some information uh, to get my take on, and that's what we're doing, right? So he shot me this uh, stuff here, and you see it's on Realtor.com. This is uh, not like a for sale ad. It's not like listed for sale. This is just like the information that's been aggregated and sent to Realtor.com, and it's a little inaccurate, right? It says there's five beds, three and a half baths, but per Colton, we have two units, okay? And we have one unit, which is a five bed, three bath, and that's totally vacant. Uh, but Colton believes the market rent is $13.50 for that unit, and I happen to agree with him. And then the other unit, 
is five beds, two baths, and it currently has a tenant in there at $1,141 a month. Okay, so between the market rent of the vacant unit and the occupied unit, this property could bring in $2,491 a month, almost $30,000 for the year. And the reason it brings in so much rent is twofold. Number one, well, it's threefold, actually. Number one, it's, it's a nice neighborhood. Cleveland Heights, it's a solid neighborhood. If you go uh, to HoltonWise.com, you go to the Tools and Resource tab, we have a link to the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. You're going to want to check that out, folks. That is a graph, a guide, a blog, an article, whatever you want to call it, where I have graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale based upon risk, right? So A is the least risky, F is the most risky. And when I say risk, I mean risk of you not getting your rent, risk of you having to evict people, risk of your property being broken into and people damaging it, right? So F, that's highly risky. A, super low risk, okay? A neighborhoods are like where the, the wealthy homeowners are gonna live, right? And this is set up in a B class neighborhood, right? So this is pretty much one of the safest rental neighborhoods you can get. So that's one reason why we're going to get a ton of rent. Another reason, we have a large bedroom count, man. Five bedrooms. Those are huge units. Third, this is a side-by-side -side duplex to my knowledge. I'm uh, like 99% sure it's a side-by-side -side duplex. I haven't toured it myself, but from everything that I'm seeing, everything everyone's telling me uh, about this property, the information I've gotten and, and I've been able to compile, it's a side-by-side -side duplex. Side-by-side -side duplex is always going to rent for more money and be better investments than up-down duplex when you can pick them up. We don't have as many side-by-side -side duplexes in the Cleveland market. The housing stock, when they built all these properties back in the day, uh, we have the old housing stock here, folks. But when they built all these, most of them were up-down. So if you could get yourself a side-by-side, -side, much better. Rents are typically higher, and the tenants typically stay longer, lowers your vacancy cost, because you don't have people above or below each other, and you typically don't have common basement areas for storage and laundry. So anytime you can reduce your common areas and reduce people making noise above or below somebody, that is great. And uh, the le well, that's three reasons, right? One is the neighborhood, two is the large bedroom count, and three is the actual layout, right? So those are my three reasons why this, uh, you know, the fact that it's going to bring in all that rent, that's why it's fairly accurate. Now, with all these photos that you guys have been looking at, uh, here is the one thing though, right? There's a little bit of confusion with the information that you've given me, Colton, uh, in your email to me, like you kind of summarize what's going on with your deal, but then you've also provided me these photos and then some things in your contract, right? Uh, one of the topics you had brought up to me is you believe you could also get the secondary unit up to 1350 in rent. Now, I don't have pictures of the occupied unit, but yes, that's possible. You probably could. That, that rent is achievable in this market. Uh, the thing is, you already have a tenant in there at 1141 brother. I see no reason for you to remove that tenant uh, and create yourself an artificial turnover when you don't need to. That rent that it is being brought in by that particular tenant, man, that is a solid rent. So you would probably lose more money on the turnover because these are huge units, right? Five bedroom units. So to actually remove that tenant and get that rent up, uh, you know, like less than 200 bucks a month or a little bit more, it'd be like 209 or something, right? Yeah, 209. You're probably gonna have to spend ten, fifteen thousand dollars renovating the unit to do that. So I, I think you'll make uh, the, a better decision keeping her in there. I mean, if we look at the numbers with what's coming in right now, the two thousand four hundred ninety-one on the chart here. You see, I broke it all down. I broke down your repair and your maintenance, your vacancy, your non-payment, your capex, all that jazz, taxes, insurance, the whole shebang, right? These are average breakdowns, right? Now, it's not going to produce like this every single day, every single week, every single month, not even every single year. These are average breakdowns that you can expect to see from a performance standpoint on properties similar to this over the long term spread out over a large portfolio. There's an unlimited amount of variables in this business. So every single property will be unique. Every month will be unique, things of that nature. I can't predict what's going to happen in these tenants' lives or if they will pay, they won't pay, if they get sick and they can't pay, if they die, if they kill somebody. You know, there's, there's a million factors, right? A hurricane comes, a fire comes. We can't predict all that. But over the long term, these are the average metrics you should expect, right? So it should have an NOI of 1,106. Now, as far as price, you're trying to pick it up at 164000 You've sent me the contract. You're currently under contract. Uh, with the seller at 164000 So with how it sits, 
If you bring in that NOI of $1,106 a month, you pick it up at 164000 That is an eight cap. And if you finance it, you're only needing $41,000 in this sucker. And it's a 17.2% cash on cash return. So from that standpoint, the deal, man, that's a great deal. It's a solid deal. There's no reason you shouldn't move forward onto this deal. Neighborhood safe. As far as the price goes, that's right in line with the comps. Uh, that, that is what I would anticipate a property like this selling for. So you're not overpaying, in my opinion. The cap rate's great. The cash on cash return is great. And you don't need to actually remove that tenant to obtain a high cash on cash return. So you shouldn't. But there are some other things that uh, we need to discuss that I'm a little confused upon. Number one being the market rent uh, for the vacant unit, 1350. Yes, I think that's achievable. However, if you take a look at the unit pictures again, I it's it's not bad. It's not a bad unit, but this kitchen, right? It's not by any means a bad kitchen. But you know, if you're finding you're having a struggle getting 1350 in rent, I would say it's because this kitchen doesn't have a wow factor. When you're talking about duplex units in the Cleveland market, 1350, you know, I know if you're out there in California, that seems like a low rent. That's an incredibly high rent, right? I actually can't think of any neighborhood. Uh, or not many neighborhoods in the Cleveland market where you can get more than 1350 in rent for a duplex unit. So, you know, if you're finding you're having trouble occupying that unit at that rate, we would either need to lower it a couple hundred bucks or we would need to probably spend maybe 10 grand, uh, you know, putting in a banger kitchen, man. I'm talking like granite counter countertops, quartz countertops, things of that nature. The cabinets, we could probably, you know, keep those cabinets, but we want to add some hardware granite or quartz countertops, throw some stainless steel appliances in there, undermount sink, backsplash. Then 1350 would be no problem. As it sits right now, if these photos are still accurate, it's just kind of meh. So I don't know if you'll attract the tenant who's willing to pay that. So that's, that's number one uh, you know, factor that I want you to consider when you decide if you want to move forward with this deal or not. The second factor that I want you to consider is going to be this point of sale report that you sent me. Now you sent me the point of sale report, which you can see on the screen here. And in your comments to me, you had said that the seller is going to assume that point of sale. You're not going to have to worry about it. The seller's going to clear that off for you, which is great. Uh, but here's the thing. You also sent me your purchase agreement and an addendum to your purchase agreement. And here's the thing, just a quick disclosure. I am a real estate broker. Uh, so, you know, if you want me to, to represent you in transactions, which I am not doing on this particular one, you've already, you know, made your moves and I'm just giving you my advice. Uh, I can do that, but we use, uh, you know, approved contracts that are drafted by attorneys, other brokerages do the same, and then we can go through and we can negotiate terms on those contracts. Uh, what I can't do, like legally, right, and I'm not qualified to do, is comb through your existing contract and, and you know, piece together things or change things or rewrite contracts, right? That would be acting in a legal capacity, which I am not an attorney, so I'm not licensed to do. Uh, so if you want someone to fully review your contract on your behalf, you would need to hire an attorney to do that, or you'd have to bring us into the deal to, to represent everyone in the deal. Then we'd have to get more disclosures out and we'd have to write this deal up on a already approved contract, like a Holton Wise contract. But I'm not saying you necessarily need to do all that. I just want to make that disclaimer out to you that I am not your attorney, I'm not acting in a legal capacity, and I cannot comb through your contract. But there is one thing that I think is fairly obvious that really was just shooting out at me, okay? And that is on your addendum to the real estate purchase agreement. You scroll down here, I've highlighted it for you. You told me in your email that the uh, seller was going to handle that POS for you, but in here, it clearly states that you, the buyer, are going to have to assume it. My opinion, at this price point, I think you should get that seller to assume it. So, uh, you know, maybe you guys changed it and you didn't let me know, or, or maybe he threw this in there on you, or maybe it's just an error and you guys have already agreed. I don't know. But at this price point that you're paying, I think it's, it's more than acceptable for you to have the seller handle that POS. Because the one thing on that POS that I saw that was going to be pretty pricey was the, uh, the scrape and paint the flaking areas on the outside. Now, you know, from what I have, right, I just have pictures of the house. I haven't toured the house, right? Uh, you know, we have the ability to do that, but of course, that's a much higher price package than the one you bought. So everything that I can do for you here is from this desk. So with the information I have, I don't know 
I can't like quote for you how much you're going to have to do because I don't know if it's the entire thing is flaking and this is a big ass property. So, you know, to, to properly handle that, you know, uh, re scrape and paint a huge property like this, you're well above $5,000. If you wanted a vinyl side it to encapsulate it and never have to worry about it again, that's the best long-term play. You know, you'd probably be in the 10 or higher range, 10,000 or higher range, or it could just be flaking in a couple little spots. It doesn't specify on the POS report. And I haven't toured the property myself to be able to give you any more insight on that. But with the price you're paying, you know, you shouldn't have to then go drop another 10K or so on vinyl siding uh, going forward uh, if you're going to pay 164000 So I think your best bet here is to get the seller to go ahead and handle that POS like you had mentioned to me. So that is my main cause of concern along with that unit, uh, the kitchen looking less than stellar, but you banking on getting that maximum rent, that thirteen fifty, because that thirteen fifty, yes, it's achievable, but hey, that's like best case scenario, bro. Uh, so like, if you're gonna plan on keeping the kitchen like that, you might want to factor in a rent similar to what the tenant on the other side is doing. And then, of course, if you're factoring in hoping to get the tenant on the other side eventually up to thirteen fifty, I would anticipate you're probably gonna give yourself a turnover. And since that tenant's been in there, and you're gonna need to put together a big, beautiful, high-end banger, you know, I would anticipate a ten k rental in that one before you can get your ultimate goal, which is both units running at thirteen fifty. So that's everything I've got for you on this property, Colton. Uh, I do think it's a solid deal. I think 164000 uh, is a great price for it, so long as you get it clear POS. And I do think it's going to cash flow for you quite well with the existing tenant in there. So don't, don't go creating yourself any additional turnovers. So those are my thoughts on this. Uh, if you have any questions, just let my team know. And uh, don't forget to have an attorney go through that contract on your behalf. Uh, or if you want, uh, my team, we could come in and we could represent you, but you look like, uh, you know what you're doing. So I don't know if you would need to pay, uh, additional commissions to us to do that. Cause, um, you know, in a situation like that unlisted property, I would assume the seller's not willing to pay anybody a commission. So it can get rather costly. So, uh, I just want to give you my feedback on what I've seen, but so far everything looks pretty good. looks pretty safe. I don't see it being a bad deal for you, man. So you know, move forward. Good luck with it. If you'd like my team to handle the management post-closing, we can absolutely do that. For more information on our property management services, go to holtonwise.com and click the property management FAQ. Everybody else, again, if you want to work with us in a similar fashion, if you'd like us to find you deals or look over your deals, go to the property search for sale tab. Two ways to buy from us. Number one, you can go to the investment properties for sale show. Make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list. We'll send it out to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those are properties we're selling. They come complete with video tours so you guys can get a full look inside of all these rental properties, see what you're getting from far away, do your due diligence without having to be in Cleveland. That's way number one. Way number two is what Colton is doing. That's the MLS search analysis show where I take what you were trying to do with your budget, with your goals, and I go out and I find it for you or in an unbiased way, I analyze what you're already putting together with other sources. And for everybody else, it doesn't necessarily like either of those scenarios. We also provide you guys with real-time access. So if you're looking for real-time MLS access, I should say, so you can have all of the data that I, as a broker, all of the data that every other agent has, you can have that same access at your fingertips. So if you're looking for specific risk tolerance type properties, if you want commercial buildings in A grade neighborhoods, if you want duplexes in D grade neighborhoods, if you want seller finance deals, if you want to flip houses and you only want distressed properties, you can have that access. So we got a way for you guys to get that access. Just click the icon that says click here for MLS access. We have it all for you. A la carte, Holton Wise TV. We are here to make real estate investing easy for you, putting everything at your fingertips. So that's all I've got for you on today's show, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.
G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.